Hello and welcome to this series of lectures on how to learn Java using an uh, uh, AI, uh, which is called uh, ChatGPT. Uh, this is a very new topic. Uh, it's recently been available to public for a free trial, so you can use it and uh, uh, ask it different questions. This is supposed to be a very smart in the way that it's going to be like a conversation to you have with somebody who's familiar with the topic that you're asking. So if you, you know, if I want you to give you some introduction to what ChatGPT is, it's part of the OpenAI platforms. So OpenAI is a company who's uh, developing this and other AI based uh, platforms. And you can go to this website, uh, openai.com, blog ChatGPT to learn more about it. If you want to uh, log in to the ChatGPT platform and start using it, you can go to chat dot uh, openai.com or you need to either sign up uh, or it's easier if you already have a google account you can just log in with your google account which is very nice um, it's an online tool so you don't need to uh, install any software on your computer it is in the research phase so if you look at the official uh, 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 introduction on the ChatGPT website says we are excited to introduce ChatGPT to get users feedback and learn about its strengths and weaknesses doing the research preview usage of ChatGPT is free try it now at chat.openai.com all right so you can go to this address and log in and uh, the usage is free for now because right now it's in a uh, research space and what they're trying to do they're trying to train the ai as much as possible so and the best way to do it to, is to open it to the public so that the public can ask questions interact with it the more an ai interacts with the people it interacts uh, with different topics it learns more right the more you use it the smarter it becomes and obviously at some point it becomes a scary smart and <laughs> hopefully we don't get to that point so it is designed as a dialogue conversation environment. So this is mainly, obviously the AI behind is, it's not based on conversation, right? AI is just, uh, when you go down to the mathematical modeling, it's just a graph that can uh, uh, handle different paths, right? For a topic, but the way they design this API, uh, the, basically the human interface, the human interaction interface or the graphical interface, is more like a chat base. So you ask questions, it tries to understand the words, uh, what the meaning is, uh, basically the context. And then uh, based on that, it tries to come up with uh, a response to your question. Normally you ask questions, you get answers, right? Um, if you give it a sentence or something that doesn't really asking, that doesn't ask any response in return, uh, ChatGPT probably doesn't give you any response. So from the website, we've trained a model called J ChatGPT which interacts in a conversational, conversational way. Uh, the dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions. So it not only understand the context of the current question that you're asking, based on the, of the history of the questions that you ask in the same uh, chat session, it understands uh, down, the, uh, down um, like uh, when you are farther uh, in the asking questions, it understands the previous context as well. So it's not just, just the current context of the questions, also the previous context is still uh, uh, there. It understands that. Uh, admit its mistakes, challenge uh, incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. So for example, you ask a question, it gives you an answer, and say you say, oh, okay, actually your answer, I think this part is wrong. And it says, oh, you're right. And it tries to correct itself. So it also has a corrective model. ChatGPT is a sibling model to inst instruct GPT. So this is the another mo or AI model that they develop, which is trained to follow an instruction in a prompt and provide a detailed response, right? We can use ChatGPT to learn everything about Java. And that's uh, the goal that I have in this series of lectures. Basically, my goal here is to really, let's say you are, you want to learn Java or any programming language, right? And usually you try to find a book, a course online, and try to just follow up the curriculum that they propose. Instead, what I want you to really learn is how, what, what kind of questions I should ask to really learn a programming language. Uh, I'm going to use the example of Java, but this could apply to any programming language that you want to learn, right? Because ChatGPT is about asking questions and getting the answers. And in order to get good answers, 
helpful answers you have to be able to ask the right questions and again this is this this even goes beyond just programming right any topic that you want to learn in life you have to first be able to ask the right questions in order to get the right answers if you ask a question that is irrelevant then uh, you it becomes misleading right you may uh, uh, basically diverge from the the correct correct path of learning so this is a very important topic and i think it's actually fun to use chat GPT while it's free to really try to ask some question from the very start to learn how do I learn Java, right? What do I need? What kind of tools I need to install? What kind of uh, topics I should start with, right? Now, obviously, there are, uh, if you are already a programmer, you definitely know some topics that you should learn for any programming language. For example, does the programming language support primitive types? or is it all based on object types? For example, Python doesn't really have pure primitives, whereas C, C++, Java, they do have some, they support pure primitives. Uh, classes, it does the language support object-oriented programming? Classes, data models, this kind of stuff. Object-oriented programming, data structures, what kind of uh, built-in data structures the language provide? When I say built-in, I mean the libraries that come with the language itself. When you, obviously, you have to install some development tools to be able to write, compile, this kind of stuff, right? And uh, Java comes with a very rich library of collections. Uh, other programming languages also follow the same path. C++ has the standard template library. Python has its own library with a lot of classes like list, map, uh, dictionaries, this kind of stuff. So again, the goal here is to really uh, understand uh, how to ask right questions, what kind of correct questions or right questions we should ask when we want to learn something. And uh, for example, a programming language like Java. Okay, now let's see um, how do we start asking questions to learn Java. Obviously, the very first thing that we need to do is uh, just like any other programming language, we first have to ask, okay, I need to have some development tools, right? For installing, uh, for working with Java. If I want to write the co Java code, compile it and then run it, right? So I have to have some compiler, for example, some IDE, some runtime and all of this, right? And for any programming language or any development kit, first you have to ask, what is the most recent version of the development kit for that rank language, right? So first, uh, let me uh, go to my browser and then uh, take you to the chat GPT session. So this is the browser I have already logged in and it gives you an examples of what you can ask. It has dark mode, light mode, open AI, discord. Uh, log out, you can log out and log in with another account. And uh, again, the web address is chatopenai.com. And again, uh, obviously questions, the information that you provide here in your questions uh, will go through, it's public. I mean, the connection is encrypted, but obviously the whole goal here is that for open AI company, uh, as a company, they have to sift uh, through the information. So it's available to them, right? And again, it's a free research preview. Uh, I don't think this will uh, be free forever, but for now um, it's free. So let's start with some questions like, hello. It understands the context. It understands that you're not asking for anything, right? You're just giving it a casual conversation. It says, hello, how can I help you today? So we didn't uh, ask for any response, but so that's why it's not providing any information. It's just saying, hey, do you need any help? Do you want me to? And then you can also say this is a good answer, not answer, or you can even ask it to try again, regenerate response. And the interesting thing is that it tries to come up with a new a, 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 a different response. So it's not just repeating the same response, right? But in this case, obviously, um, kind of uh, there is a, um, very simple answer that's why it's the same and you can browse through different answers right answer number one was like this answer number two was also the same thing but uh, once we go deeper and ask uh, uh, more detailed questions it can come up with different answers right all right so i want to learn a programming language so i want to learn java for example where should i start so let's see what it says now as you can see the response takes some time because it has to analyze so you will need to start by setting up a development uh, environment and as i said this is the first 
correct question that we should always ask. Not only um, for the uh, for learning Java for any programming language, C++, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, anything. You have to first set up the development environment so that you can write code, you can execute it. You really need to feel the writing the code and programming, right? That's the best way. Really get your hands dirty, write the code, experiment with the code, copy paste from code, uh, copy paste code from other places, try to understand how they are written, etc. And now he's giving us a very detailed answer and this, the answers are really good. Like the way this comes up with answers is very good. So let's say I just want to learn Java, where should I start? It that tells you you have to install JDK. And then uh, after that, you have to also set up IDE. Uh, integrated uh, development environment or some people also say it's an abbreviation for interactive development environment when we say integrated it means the JDK is integrated in a way that IDE hides a lot of complexities with respect to the compiling it makes a very seamless experience obviously programming languages that are dynamic in nature like Python JavaScript they don't need compilation uh, like explicit compilation then uh, some people argue that they might not need a um, uh, uh, ID, right? So definitely avoid text editors when you want to learn Java, use an integrated development environment. Once you have your environment set up, you can start learning the basics of Java programming language. And again, the whole point of this series of lectures is to ask the questions, how do I learn it? What are the basic uh, concepts, right? The basics of Java program. Here are some steps you can follow. We're going to install JDK. JDK is a software development kit that contains the tool you need, like compiler, runtime. Choose a text editor IDE. We will definitely go with IDE. You will need a IDE. We're going to use Eclipse IDE, and we're going to ask uh, ChatGPT, how do I, where do I find Eclipse IDE? How do I download it? How do I install it? Once I install it, how do I set it up correctly? Learn the basics of the language. Uh, this includes uh, learning uh, variables, data types, primitives, control structures, object-oriented programming concepts, right? Practice writing Java code. You have to get your hands dirty. Learn about advanced Java concepts. And then uh, remember that learning to program takes time and practice. So you don't get discouraged if you don't understand everything right away. Just keep learning, pra uh, practicing, and building projects, and you will become proficient Java, right? So this was the introduction to ChatGPT. From next uh, lecture, we will uh, go into learning Java. We're going to exactly follow the uh, steps that the ChatGPT uh, asked, which is also the steps that basically we have to follow always for any programming language, right? So I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Please stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.